So part of doing all the work in the detail with OpenAI, I got very early access to GPT-4. And I sat down with it and I started playing with it. And I realized that here is a great companion for thinking, a great companion for speaking, for creating. And as I played with it and I started thinking about the things that mattered to me, like human friendship and so forth, I started thinking about, oh, I could use this as a research assistant to figure out patterns like what would Mencius think about Montaigne's theory of friendship and how would that play with modern psychology? I said, well, actually, in fact, this kind of being able to write and create, that's available now for everyone. Why don't I write a book about that? Why don't I create the impromptu conversations around this in order to make it happen? And that's the, the journey that got accelerated last summer. So collaborating with GBD4 is, you know, like other collaborations, which is you discover where it's amazing and you discover where it's interesting and you discover where it's a little challenged. And obviously, you know, the GBT is a is, is an iteration and development and learning. It's learning from ingesting all this content from the internet and it's being trained in different ways and it's learning new things. And so the answer to a question you asked last month is different than the answer you'll get this month. Uh, you know, sometimes it's very similar, but sometimes it's a little different. And that process uh, made me realize that it's kind of the way that just like in talking to other people, it's also how you discover yourself. It's also how you discover what you think about something. Is that when you when you say something to someone else, you're like, oh yeah, that's what I think. Because I just discovered it because I said it to you. And that process of, of, of learning that dialogue with GBD4 and, and kind of what we're going in the future, that has been amazing. And it's, you know, for example, it's like, well, okay. Uh, uh, you know, people talk about hallucinations because they go, well, you know, sometimes it hallucinates and gives you a very fictional answer that it's stating with absolute confidence. And by the way, you've got to make sure you understand how to avoid when it's important that it's true or not. But those hallucinations are part, part of also how it's creative, part of also how it, it helps you create something. So like, I literally was like, oh, well, um, let's uh, write a Star Trek episode about artificial intelligence. And it, creates a plot outline for what would look like a really good Star Trek episode. And you're like, well, that's cool. I wonder what else I can do with that.